amend it by ten minutes. Yes, pass. Yep. I am going to instruct the secretary that in the minutes um, on the short title of this to strike the word no so that the short title bears some resemblance to what we did. <laughs> because we still have a deadline. Okay. So what do we just where it says no deadline in the minutes, just throw the word no. It's 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 not substantive, it's clarifications. Okay. So as I warned you all yesterday. At this time, um, the maker of the motion uh, D13, best game or interactive experience, is not going to be able to be here tomorrow. We all hope and pray that we won't need, that none of us will need to be here tomorrow, but in the case that we do, since D13 is the last item our, on our agenda, I am going to ask the consent of the body to go ahead and take up D13 at this time. Are there any objections? Hearing none, the item before us is now D13, short title, Best Game or Interactive Experience. It can be found on page 15 of your agenda. And I will now recognize Ira, yes, uh, to come up to the podium mic and speak in, presumably in favor of it, as the maker of the motion. <laughs> Your name's in the maker of motion, so I think you're okay. Yeah. That's where I get from. Oh, and I apologize. We have set debate time at this item for 12 minutes. Uh, my name is Ira Alexandra, pronouns they, them, and I'm the person behind this proposal. After doing exhaustive research into over a decade of Worldcon data and hundreds of games and incorporating feedback received in person and via one response per person survey, I'm asking you to approve a Games Hugo in recognition of the storied and longstanding role of games, game creators, and game players in Wisp's history and culture. This Hugo is viable because it includes low cost and communal games that are easily accessed, because there's a wealth of worthy content every year, and because the uniting element of interactivity is a compelling and unique storytelling tool particularly suited to speculative work. Games have always been part of WISFA's culture, and interactive media of all kinds, whether digital or analog, represents a thriving and indispensable site of speculative fiction work. There is speculative work that only games can do, and this is not adequately covered in best dramatic presentation or best related work. Refusing to recognize this is an act of disengagement with where speculative work is being done today, and is a disservice to a vibrant and vital aspect of WISFA's culture. I've heard some concerns about the cost to nominate uh, and about what would be eligible in the category, and I'd like to briefly address those now. Regarding eligibility, media like Bandersnatch, Sweep No More, and Choose Your Own Adventure novels would unequivocally be eligible in this category because the uniting factor that sets them apart from all other types of storytelling is the interactive nature and the incorporation of choice into the narrative structure. In terms of cost, the idea that it is necessary to buy hundreds of dollars of equipment or expensive AAA titles is a myth and also erases analog games, many indie titles, and interactive fiction. Analog games tend to be communally owned and interactive fiction re ranges from inexpensive to free. In video games, about half the games that top the awards, the major awards any given year, are indie titles playable on typical phones and computers already owned by most voters. Such titles generally sell for $20 or less and can be completed in three to 10 hours, comparable to the time and money investment of one or two novels. Those who can or don't want to play can become informed voters via free, widely available guided tours or movie versions of games. There is no inclusive, medium-neutral speculative fiction award for games. The Hugo Awards can be the first, and the gaming membership of WISFIS deserves this recognition, just as much as the excellent and widely available titles that fill the field. As always, my full 60-page report is available on gameshugo.com. Thank you. Thank you. 
I will remind the body, uh, just because I reminded you all of this yesterday, that while uh, applause is allowed, it does come out of the debate time for the given side, so just please be aware of that. Perianne, are you wishing to make a? Uh, okay, I will recognize you at the microphone. Mary Ann Lurie, she, her. I move to refer this to the Hugo Awards Study Committee to report back next year. Okay, the motion has been made and seconded uh, to refer the Hugo, uh, to refer this motion to the Hugo Awards Study Committee to report back next year. Uh, sorry, Perry, do you wish to speak? No. Okay. Uh, five minutes, right? Yeah, five minutes. Okay. It's debatable. No, I know it is. Yeah, I just okay. wasn't sure about the time. <laughs> okay, uh, we're going to need to set debate time at this for five minutes like we do for an amendment. Uh, is there anyone wishing to speak um, against uh, the motion to refer? The podium microphone. Okay. Lisa Paddle, she, her. Uh, oops, sorry. Uh, I have two reasons for not supporting this. One, I'm on that committee. We have a lot of work to do already. Please don't add to it. Second, there is a 60-page report. There has been enough research. I do not believe a committee could do more research. Thank you. That was a speech against the motion to refer. Is there a speech in favor? Uh, the gentleman with the is that a dragon. Ah with the shirt uh, up at the podium <laughs> microphone. <laughs> okay, thank you. Faith, I don't need it. Um, hello, uh, Rafe Richards, he, him. Uh, I will say I have just of yesterday or the day before volunteered to be on the Hugo Sturdy Committee uh, for some foolish reason. So appreciating what I might be getting into here. I appreciate that perhaps there cannot or does not need to be any further research into this matter, but I do not think that this is the right proposal to come out of that research, and I think that is something that the committee could usefully work on. Thank you. That was a speech in favor. Uh, Lisa, did you need something? No, no, I just wanted to speak into the mic. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Uh, that was a speech in favor. Is there a speech against? Okay, I will recognize Alex Sachs at the podium microphone. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll talk myself. I'll talk okay. Myself. okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh. This is one of these mics. Okay. Um, Alex Sachs, pronouns they, them. Um, I would actually. I, I would like to echo the sentiment that the Hugo Study Committee already has way too much on its plate, and I feel like if there is going to be a committee, it should be one that is particular to the subject that would have people on it that I don't know who would be the best experts. So I'm going to suggest throwing it out there that um, someone who has an idea of who would be great on this committee should move to send it to a special committee that has appropriate people on it Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. Okay, that. Yes. Okay. I will restate the parliamentary inquiry. What is the member's name? My name is Marguerite Kenner. She Wait, her. Marguerite Kenner. Uh, she, her. Uh, oh, that was yeah. your pronouns, not your last name. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Look, this is my third day of doing this. Um, the parliamentary inquiry was how one would do that. It would be a motion to amend the motion to refer um, by essentially striking out Hugo Ward's study committee and inserting whatever you choose to send it to instead. Like a committee to be appointed by the chair. Like my parliamentarian is saying, a committee to be appointed by the chair. Um, okay, so I just didn't want to do it because I don't want to be in charge of it. Okay. <laughs> that was technically debate. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, please subtract two seconds from time against. Uh, <laughs> Done. <laughs> we've had a speech against. Uh, is there a speech in favor? Uh, I will recognize Kate Secor up at the podium. Uh, 
My name is Kate Secor. I use she, her pronouns. While I appreciate that the Hugo Study Committee has a lot of work to do, um, as the person who set it up, we are moving away from the, uh, let's call it freeform uh, medium of email uh, to a more directed forum-based discussion. So it, we, and we are planning on appointing official subcommittees. So the mechanism for functionally splitting it off into its own thing while also keeping it responsible to another group to make sure that stuff gets done. And as someone who completely failed on their own committee this year, that's really important, um, is available and we are planning on using it. Um, I support the motion to refer, not because I actually think the proposal is bad, but because I think that there is so much discussion that people are going to want to have on it that were not part of the original discussion around writing this particular form of it, that the business meeting is not an appropriate place to have those conversations, because at some point we'd all like to go home. <laughs> okay, that was a speech in favor. Is there a speech against? Seeing none, uh, is there an additional speech in favor? I'm sorry, Martin, were you rising to be? I, 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 you have a motion? Okay, you rose when I said if there was a speech again, so I will now recognize you at the podium. I move to Martin Pine, he, him. Mixed chairperson, I move to amend by in, by inserting at the appropriate place and charge the committee with with referring it to a dedicated subcommittee for to which the makers of the original motion are included. Thank you. Is there a second? Second. Yes. Okay. okay. Can somebody? Yeah. Okay. So the motion that was made was to amend the motion to refer to charge the Hugo Award Study Committee with forming a specific subcommittee to address this issue of which the original makers of this motion will be members of. Is still talking to you. To charge in one moment, Linda, I want to make sure that Martin agrees with what I just said, and then I will help you hash it out. To charge the HAC will form a specific subcommittee to address the motion. To just subject to address the, the, sub, yes, the subject um, of which the makers of the original motion are invited, will be invited. To okay. Okay. All right. Uh, point of order, parliamentary inquiry, or got it. Okay. Uh, I will recognize Terry at the podium for parliamentary inquiry. My name is Terry Neal and I use she, her pronouns. Mixed chairperson, um, I do not think this body has the authority to appoint people against their will, so perhaps we could invite them instead. <laughs> I, will, I will take, uh, yeah. <laughs> That's fair. Uh, so yeah, let's, let's, invited to participate. Yeah, let's, yeah, let's change that to invited to participate. Um, Friendly amendments aren't a thing, but I'm gonna just say that that's what we're gonna make it say. Uh, unless anyone wants to call me on it. No Seeing none. Okay, uh, is there uh, anyone wishing to speak? Or Martin, do you wanna speak? Okay. Why don't you read back what you gave her? Okay, I'm, I'm going to read back what I gave the secretary. Or actually, can I ask the secretary to read it back? Um, to amend. To amend. Microphone. Oh, sorry. Okay. To um, to amend the phrase so that it reads to charge the Hugo Awards Study Committee with forming a specific subcommittee to address the subject of which the makers of the original motion are invited to participate. Needs a little refining, but that's basically the gist. Okay. Is there anyone wishing to speak against the amendment? I recognize Perry on up at the front. Perry and Lurie, she, her. There are nine original makers of this motion. I trust the Hugo Award subcommittee to invite some of these people to be, to be in this new subcommittee, uh, but I do not think that having the same nine people discuss the same thing they've already been discussing will be, will be productive. 
Okay, that was a speech against. Is there a speech in favor of the amendment? Yes, uh, Kate, can you move to microphone? Uh, is the blue mic near you? Thank you. Uh, Mixed chairperson, parliamentary inquiry, does inviting specific people to form the subcommittee restrict the heads of the original committee from appointing other people to the subcommittee or having other volunteers? Uh, I do not believe it does, um, but that is also a hypothetical situation and I've been told I should stop giving opinions on those. But the body can consider your inquiry. Okay, is there somebody wishing to speak in favor of the amendment? I recognize Terry up at the podium. I believe that the business meeting has charged the Hugo subcommittee with the ability to appoint any willing person to any willing position that Cliff wishes to appoint. Um, so that includes the people, all or some subset of the nine people for this amendment and anyone else who contacts Cliff and asks him to be part of this. Thank you, that was a speech in favor. Do we have a speech against? I recognize Lisa up at the podium. Uh, Lisa Paddle, she, her, move to call the question. Are you wishing to call the, are you wishing to call the question on the amendment? Yes. On the amendment and the motion to refer? Which, which are you wanting to do? The amendment. Just the amendment, okay. The, amendment. Uh, the question has been called and seconded. Is there anyone still wishing to speak to the amendment? Seeing none, we will move to a vote. All those in favor of the amendment to the motion to refer to instruct the Hugo subcommittee to, or the Hugo award study committee to set up a subcommittee specifically for this uh, to which the makers of the original motion will be invited to participate. All those in favor of that amendment, please raise the hand. Thank you. All those against, and the amendment passes. Uh, we are now back at the motion to refer as amended. Timekeeper, how we doing? Um, we're still okay. We have like a minute on each side. Okay. Uh, the last speech uh, being the amendment was a speech against the motion to refer. Is there a motion in, f or is there a speech in favor of the motion to refer? Sorry, I phrased that really badly and not the way I normally do it. Is there anyone wishing to speak in favor? Uh, I recognize Ben Yallo up at the podium. Ben Yellow, he, him. There are a bunch of technical issues that I have over and above the uh, kinds of, is this something we want to give a you go for? For example, it was mentioned that a choose your own adventure novel is el would be eligible in this new category. Does that mean that a choose your own adventure novel is now eligible in two categories at once? Uh, we hate to do things that make things eligible in two categories at once. These are the kinds of technical questions that no matter how much I respect uh, the members of the business meeting, we can't fix things like this on the floor. We do a really lousy job at fixing things on the floor on the fly. We need a committee to clean up all of these kinds of technical issues over and above any questions that people may have about the merits of it. So I recommend we stick it with a committee, let them clean up it. Thank you. Uh, that was a speech in favor of referring the amendment. Is there still time to speak against? There's one minute against. Okay. Uh, is there anyone wishing to speak against? I, I think I have a point of order. I'm not sure. Um, the Can you please? Uh, can a microphone please move to you or you move to a microphone? Uh, blue microphone. Um, I'm sorry, I'm not sure which kind of thing I'm, I'm trying to do here, but that was explicitly addressed in the proposed amendments um, in, the, in here. So I, I don't know. If it, that, it's that, that is debate. Okay, all right, yes. then I will sit back down and sit back up. <laughs> okay, uh, that, was a mo or the, that was a speech in favor of the motion to refer. Is there a speech against? No, the, the point of order was not sustained oh, because it was debate. Okay. Uh, I recognize Ira, wait, 
Okay, then I will recognize Kath up at the podium. No, not oh, no. er, sorry, yeah, yeah. yep, with the blue mic. My apologize. My apologize? <laughs> <laughs> My apologies. No. no. Mixed chair person, I move to call the question on the uh, okay. motion to refer. Okay, the question has been called on the motion to refer and seconded. Uh, is there anyone still wishing to speak on the motion to refer? Seeing none, we will move to a vote. All those in favor of the motion, which is to refer D13 to the Hugo Award Study Committee with the specific charge of forming a subcommittee that the makers of D13 will be invited to participate in. All those in favor of this motion to refer, please raise the hand. Thank you. All those against? And the motion to refer passes. Okay. We are now going to be moving back to D.7. Um, uh, yes, do you have a point of order? Okay, uh, I had an announcement to make first and specifically about that thing. So, uh, I forgot to mention this earlier. Um, for sake of the Secretary's sanity, um, if you are making an amendment and if it is at all possible, if you can please uh, have your exact wording in writing that you can give to the secretary so that we have to do as little wordsmithing as possible up at the head table. Um, I realize this will not always be possible, but if it is, please do so. 